follow me with Red Door Realty. Welcome, Andre. Hello, thank you. Thomas Holmes with Keller Williams. Welcome, Thomas. Thank you. And our good friend Sarah DeHunt with Brookview Realty. Welcome, Sarah. Thank you. So listen, guys, let's talk about this. When, it, when you're working with buyers, what is it they're looking for in a home? What makes a good place for, for a family or for an individual? What, what do you see people are looking for? Shall I start? Sure, sure. jump in. <laughs> um, well, I would say a majority of my buyers right now, because the prices have come up mm -hmm. and because the inventory is low, um, most of them are looking more for homes that have the big ticket items like roofs, windows, uh, you know, furnaces, that those are new and they're settling a little bit on the cosmetic updates. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know I mean? good. Of course, they want, you know, the granite and the hardwood and whatnot, but if if that puts them in a higher price range, they're more apt to purchase a home that has a new roof and new windows and the big, big expensive things over yeah. the cosmetic updates. Well, you know, that brings me, Thomas and yeah. Andre, to a thought here about when we're looking at what it takes to get, you know, what makes for a good place to live, that some things are kind of objective realities, like yes. does it have a newer roof that I won't have to replace it very soon? Yep. And some things are more subjective and we'll talk about those too but when you think objectives in money for instance right what comes yes. to your mind thomas um the biggest thing on the dollar front is you know it's everybody says location 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 but in reality location is really tied to price sure it is. Sure. so it's what can i actually afford what neighborhood can i afford to live in mm -hmm. everybody has their area you know we've all seen the shows you know I would love to live here. I would love to live there. But, you know, can I find that same type of house in a different neighborhood for a little bit cheaper? Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're, when we're looking at price, we're looking at something called um, debt to income ratio sure. uh, with DTI in the industry yep. or LTV loan to value. Right. Yeah. Um, with both of those, with DTI, what we're really looking at is getting you into something you can afford. And what DTI means is how much are you actually spending each month versus how much are you bringing in? Yeah, so you have to figure out with, with what I can afford, where do I want to live? And sometimes exactly. you know where that is. Sometimes you might want to go to different communities and say maybe drive around the community. See, does it feel like a community that feels like home? Because I can't decide for you what feels like home to you. Right. Yes. Yeah, location is one of those things where, you know, everybody has a general idea. Nobody's, in Metro Detroit, nobody's coming up and saying, you know, I want to be on the east side and I'm showing them houses on the west side. They know about where they want to be. They just don't, they need the help of a real estate agent to really be able to zero in on what that is. And working with the right professional who's going to listen to what, you know, is important to any one family or any one individual and, and really pay attention and try to be of help to them. You mentioned this debt to income ratio. and yes. And listen, folks, you don't want to be cash. You don't want to be house poor. No. no. You want to have a cash flow in your life. I mean, when you just work for your bills every every month, this is not good living. Yes. Right. No. That, that nice, great big house might work for, what, you know, six months. But after that, it's like, okay, I'm tired of seeing these walls. But now I can't afford to go out to dinner. Yep. So right. We all live in Michigan. <laughs> we want to go on vacation at some point during the winter yes. and see the sun. So, yeah. <laughs> or, or go up north. Yes, okay. <laughs> especially up north. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So so it matters the cash flow situation, right? I mean, it's not a blessing to put yourself into a long-term, uh, you know, ball and chain there. It's a blessing to put yourself into the right situation. So, you know, that cash flow, you still can be allowed to put some money away for retirement, maybe save some money for the kids' college fund, maybe, you know, invest in some things. So, so having the right kind of realtor. Andre, I know I've just seen your work.